Hey guys, it's Jamie from Futsal Miniatures here, and I would like to welcome you to episode 9 in our Futsal Friday series, where we look at quick and easy ways to get your miniatures onto the gaming table. Today's video, we will be looking at how to base your miniatures in a summer or spring environment. As I said last week, I really love basing my figures and putting some extra effort in, as I feel it really rounds off a paint job and also adds narrative. One of my reasons for the red cloak when painting this miniature was I knew he was destined for a summer base. Summer bases typically have a lot of green in different shades. Red is a complementary colour to green, so I knew this would work well. I will show you the basing from a different angle and on a couple of different backgrounds. However, if you would like to jump right into the tutorial, please skip to the 2 minute mark. To begin with, I thought I would give you a rundown of the materials I use, all of which are listed in the description below. Firstly, I have already painted the base in Valet Hulk Game Colour Earth. Any neutral brown would work as well. I have two sets of tufts from Mini Nature. One is flowers and the other is summer themed in a couple of different shades. I find they are the most realistic in tone and have a large variety. The flowers come in a range of different colours and for this I use the red and white ones. I use the same leaves as I did in last week's Futsal Friday and will this time concentrate on using the green tones. PVA glue is required for the tufts and leaves and I also have three pigments from Ammo by Mick Jimenez. Dark Earth, European Earth and Light Dust as well as Pigment Fixer from the same company. I also have some Blood for the Blood God to add a splash of colour and gloss. To begin with, we need to take a dry soft brush and apply pigments to the base. I go in order from dark to light using the three shades, exactly like layering paint. Use an old brush as pigments can damage brushes easily. Pigments can also be very messy to work with, so be sure to not get any of this on your clothing. However, on the miniature, until the pigment is sealed or varnished, it is removable. If you do not like the colours or feel it does not work well, use a brush and water to remove it. This is also one of the advantages of using pumice and plaster when prepping your miniatures as shown in episode 1. As this has dried waterproof, unlike sand, which would absorb water when removing pigment. I use these colours when adding mud to the cloak, which therefore ties the character in with his base so he is interacting with his environment. I like to use pigment for basing due to how fine it is in comparison to other basing materials. It looks like the models are standing on top of and not sinking into the base. Once I am happy with the pigments, I use Amol Pigment Fixer to seal them. Simply dab this on and allow it to flow over all the pigments. At first it is going to look like the pigment has washed off the base. Do not panic and allow it to dry fully. Whilst it is drying you can add more pigment, which I do here. However I do not add a lot as it is unclear of the final effect until the pigment fixer has dried. Here you can see how it looks when dry. Several different earthy tones, making a nice believable looking groundwork. Now for the fun part. I will be using several leaves and tufts to make this base come to life. I use PVA and a pair of tweezers to attach the materials to the base. PVA will dry clear, and therefore it is preferable to superglue. There is no hard or heavy rule with this to follow. I do not want to obscure the model or have too many pieces hanging over the edge of the base. I 
I simply be patient and attach as many as I feel looks good. A really cool idea my friend showed me, which I will follow when assembling my own army, is to use different coloured flowers or leaves to denote the different units and troop types within an army, so it is easily recognisable for both players. The final step when basing this Irish hero was to add some blood for the blood god. I add this to a couple of pieces on the base where I feel the axe might have dripped down. The glossy red is a nice contrast with the matte greens and browns of the base. and is something I would add to bases in order to create interest. And with the base done, this figure is ready for gaming. Hopefully you can see how a few basic techniques and ideas in this series have resulted in an interesting looking character, and how they could be applied to army-wide painting. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe as we appreciate all feedback. And I do hope you will join me next week when we will create a desert base for the priest we have painted. Futsal Miniatures, 28mm historical miniatures. Futsal takes pride in the highest quality metal models, available in the UK, US and worldwide. Futsal believes in delivering high quality products. Find out more at futsalminiatures.co.uk.